everyone, my name is Sharon and I'm currently living in Koreatown, Los Angeles with my two adorable cats who are keeping me sane during this quarantine season. For those of you who are living alone, I hope you're also keeping sane and happy during these times and joyous in the Lord. Um, I'm, I grew up here in Los Angeles, but for a while I actually lived in the East Coast as a flight attendant and I was traveling the world and living the life. but. Um, I needed a more grounded lifestyle, so I came back to Southern California, and I currently work in a small company. It's kind of an admin position, but since it's so small, I kind of wear a lot of different hats. I don't really know how else to explain my current position. Um, as for my theological background, I mentioned last week that I didn't grow up in a Christian household, and I was saved through a college ministry. My roommate was in this ministry, and as I was going through a really tough time during my freshman year, she brought me out, and that was how I was saved. And my disciple leader was just so good about keeping me accountable for reading the Bible and teaching me, and also just telling me what the stories meant, what was happening in the Bible. And that's a firework. Um, and so that is kind of how I ventured into Christianity, I guess you can say, and started exploring my faith and also just this relationship with Christ. I would say that I am mostly still non-denominational because I think that there are little nuances about different, um, I guess, denominations that I don't necessarily not believe in or not necessarily don't agree with, but I think that the root of our faith is still necessary it's just, it has to be rooted in the gospel message. And so um, I would not necessarily consider myself a specific denomination. However, I am currently in a Southern Baptist church and I am serving in their welcome team um, for the young adults. And outside of the church, I'm also building up a ministry online um, through my blog and also podcast. Um, as for what I am most interested in learning about through this course, I do want to learn a lot more about different cultures and what it means to, um, I guess, minister to people within our own communities that are of different cultures. When I was first saved, my idea of what missions was, was very limited to, I guess, being sent out into the world and to different nations. And I think that just comes with what college ministry is because that is the prime time for us to be sent out into the world without strings attached during the summer with a full-time job. But I'm really glad that this current church that I'm a part of continues to remind us that the mission field is throughout our lifetime and just everywhere that we are called to be. And in that moment, we are there for a reason. And that reason is because God is sovereign and that is a moment to glorify God. Um, and so I guess I'm slowly learning to apply that more into my life that um, everywhere that we are is a mission field and that um, we should be just that much more intentional with our relationships and also just our calling to be in specific moment, like in, in the specific moment it is our calling as a Christian, no matter where we are. Um, as for my own personal experience, I was part of a dance team during my college ministry times. And in this dance team, we were a, we were a ministry. And so we actually traveled to Japan twice during the summer to minister to students in Osaka and Kobe. Um, which was really awesome. And it was really nice to be able to build relationships with students um, in Japan and also just share with them the gospel message through dance and also just through the events that we hosted. I think, unfortunately, it was a very short time that we were there and it didn't necessarily give us enough time to really secure and make sure that they understood that Jesus is not just another idol to add to their collection of gods and goddesses, but that Jesus Christ is the only one. And um, I think it's been a really interesting experience to 
be able to guide them into the church and then also have to, I guess, pass them on to people who are remaining in Japan to really further that relationship and to build on their faith. Um, I have gone way over time, so I hope you're all having a good day. Bye.